Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. I'm vlogging today. I'm trying really hard to get back into vlogging. I've, I've loved doing it over the past six years. It's kind of gloomy. <laughs> um, and it's almost the time of the year where lots of vlogs will be coming out on my channel because I'm going to be hopefully doing Vlogist in August. Definitely will be doing Vlogtober in October <laughs> and vlog must in November slash and December like into both of them because Christmas time is November through December for me <laughs> anyways so I'm sitting here at the computer right now I just got done editing three videos and now I've got to where can I set you Let's down here a little bit lower that's okay let me make sure nothing's showing <laughs> um I just got done editing three videos like I said now I got to go get them uploading and make their thumbnails and all that stuff and put the links in the description all that jazz and then I'm going to be doing some sewing I'm hoping today Saturday I'm hoping to sew today and tomorrow and get the bags done I've been working on uh I haven't had bag update in forever like two months I think um just because I've been busy with life <laughs> but um I'm hoping to get these ones up in this next week it's early-ish this week I would love to do it Monday but I don't know if I can get everything done by then uh because next sunday a week from tomorrow the 8th i am meeting linda from Lin linda's crochet and more at joanne's and because she's coming to tennessee which is where i live and she's coming fairly close to me but it's, it's still like an hour ish away but i'm driving up to meet her and i'm gonna be all by myself i'll probably vlog that day too um in the truck for that long it's gonna be so nice i can listen to the music i like and uh just chill you know and I plan on we're meeting her up and we're gonna hang out for a while and get some yarn I'm specifically going to Joann's to buy some spring green from Red Heart if they have it if not if they don't have that I'm gonna try to find something super similar because I need a light green in my life I can't finish my little strawberry plant or anything until I get some light green all the greens I have are either like neon green which I'm hoarding and dark greens so I'm hoping that they have that uh, and if they have any banana berry, which is really hard to come by, but I love Red Heart Banana Berry. It's one of my favorite colors, and I haven't had any in years. And it's sometimes available online, sometimes it's not. And sometimes it's in stores, and sometimes it's not. So I hope I can get some of that. <laughs> and also hang out with Linda, of course. And um, I don't know if we're going to record anything together, but we'll for sure take a picture together. And then I might, I thought about maybe going out to eat by myself, or with Linda if she wants to. Because uh, it'd be nice to go without having to deal with my kids, you know. So I could just chill and take my time and i have to rush through my food and get out of there before food starts flying everywhere <laughs> um so i'm looking really forward to it and i'm gonna enjoy it i know i am so i'm gonna work on this real quick i gotta make some thumbnails and then i got to get links and stuff uh and then i got to i'm gonna sew for a little while a couple hours two or three hours maybe and while i sew i usually either watch you listen to youtube videos with my headphones my phone's like off to the side or i will listen to like crime shows <laughs> um and then i have a big pack of family chicken i gotta cut up and put in the freezer and then i got a load of laundry i need to do and then i'd like to sit down and crochet <laughs> but who knows if i'll get to do all that but i will check back in with you in a little bit we might also get out and do something later this evening it's still it's actually earlier in the day normally i start vlogging later in the day but it's it's right now it's uh 12 30. But I'm going to get this worky stuff done and then go sew and all that jazz. So I'll catch up with you later. Okay, look at this. I got this at the thrift store the other day. It's a platter, a Halloween platter. It was $2, I think. And I cleaned it really good because <laughs> it was kind of dirty. But I can't wait to use that for Halloween. I'm so excited. <laughs> and also, I'm here with this big box of yarn I got gifted from Shalonda. And I'm going to try to get all that I can put into the shelf here. And then the rest of it will have to get put somewhere else until I make space. So I'm going to show you what it looks like before and then after maybe, if I can remember. Okay, here's the before. It's already pretty full. But I'm going to try to squeeze in as much as I can. A lot of my variegated are down here and behind that. And then I stuff some up here too. Uh, I got to get to using up some of this because it's getting pretty full. Whatever I can't fit in here, I'm going to try to put on the top with all that yarn <laughs> oh lord i need to use up a lot of this i think i'll be better once june gets a little bit older and i can crochet more okay i'm actually surprised i got most of it in there 
up here I did put what, seven skeins, those ones. But I did get the wines in there. Let's see here. I put the teals and peacock over here. Didn't get any pinks in. I added uh, purples, that blue. I squished the browns in there. <laughs> there's all that uh, red heart stripes, and there's another brown. And the cream is over here. I had to do some squishing. <laughs> all of the uh, Sesame Street ones are down there. These cakes, I keep cakes in a different place, so I'm going to put those there. And so I did get it mostly put up. <laughs> it is packed to the brim, though. I got to start pulling out yarns and using them. <laughs> and, uh, but it's beautiful. I love the way it looks all full and colorful. So now, and I've cleared off this area, so now I'm going to reorganize everything and make it look nicer.